Hey guys, I am Shaft of the Cutting Casting Crew, and I've got a great game for you guys on Central Protocol between two amazing players. I want to get right into this game, so without any further ado, let's begin. Alright, here on the top left hand side of Central Protocol, in the blue Brotoss trunks, it's fear. And here on the bottom right hand side of that very same map in the red Zerg trunks, it's everybody's favorite Zerg, Fire Cake! Woo! So Fear is actually kind of like the foreign Hyun, to be perfectly honest with you. He's a great player who's got a great showing in a lot of online tournaments, going very deep in some very recent prestigious tournaments, but will he be able to contend against Fire Cake, who has actually got some notable performances, actually choosing to go with a pull into gas build, which is a little bit weird for the Zerg vs. Protoss matchup that tends to favor three hatch before pull, but I can only suspect that this will have something to do with this wide ramp here for the Protoss, as it will take actually two gateways before the Cyber Core to wall this off. That does mean that there is a potential for the Protoss to do some either mass adept or some early charge, or, or um, early zealots rather, not charge lots. Um, but either way, it opens up that kind of harassment. So Fire Kick choosing to do a very safe build, only just now beginning to expand. And his opponent, of course, having to play a little extra defensive. He's going to keep whatever units he decides to make. It looks like it will be Adepts uh, at home for a little bit. Um, because not only is this ramp pretty wide and he's going to want to block off this area right here. But there's a back door here with these rocks. And that's very deadly uh, for Protoss if any units do get in. The Protoss has a hard time defending them. Uh, Zerg can really run Protoss around in the current metagame, and I think just by the way the races are designed as well, Zerg very much the harassment and movement speed oriented race where Protoss is uh, better when they can back themselves into a wall and really control the positioning. Now the Mothership Core is out, that is going to grant some defensive potential, but we don't see a huge number of Lings coming out right now for Fire Cake, mostly choosing to focus on the Queen, so this has chosen to be a little bit of a defensive opener. He is going straight on over here, looks like he'll be taking a third relatively quickly, only choosing to go for the uh, pull as a defensive measure. Now we have Fear taking what is a reasonably timed nexus on any other map, but with this wide ramp, this could be an issue for him. We'll see if he uh, chooses to wall this up a little bit early, but what that will do, ooh, yeah, what it will definitely do is leave this debris completely unscouted as, uh, you know, taking a look here at Fear's uh, vision, yeah, he's not seeing this at all, and this could spell really, really bad things for him. In fact, um, Fire Cake already having a ling speed. He's only got, you know, six lings on the field, though. So unless he chooses to make a huge round before these rocks go down, I think Fear's in an okay spot, but, you know, that could change very, very suddenly. Stargate is going to be on the way. We'll see if any kind of scouting goes on. Maybe that'll be an Oracle. Go ahead and take these down a little bit. Or it could be a little bit of the Phoenix opener that we're seeing. Uh, some players elect to do. We'll see how that goes, but not a lot of gas right now for Fire Cake, so we're seeing him focus mostly on his economy, getting a little bit of a drone advantage over his opponent, uh, who does have Chrono Boost, so the um, Protoss is spending a little bit of his economy to get a faster Stargate, and we do have that rock about to fall, and some Lings are in production now. Third base up for Fire Cake. This is actually going to look um, to be a mid game timing attack. Um, just a little bit of harassment. We clearly see the Roach Warren and the Evolution Chamber. So he is going to try to go into a later game. Normally, the later game, though, is Hydra Ling with the Roaches following the Hydras. It's a little bit different in Legacy of the Void than it has been in any other uh, you know, expansion. But. That is the way it's working in this matchup, only not in this game. Now, the only reason I can think for that is the um, number of adepts he must think his opponent has, uh, and, and that could be a little bit of a defensive measure. Now, we've got the wings getting here into the mineral line. Now, this is some great damage, uh, a lot of wasted time pulling the units as well, and these links just going to poke around, and another wave of links going to be coming in. Ooh, this is not looking good right now for Fear, who... Uh, is currently 12 workers behind on the uh, the worker count, 
but some adepts coming in and that is the reason we're seeing the earlier roaches just because of that two gate opener that forces a huge number of adepts into the game now we've got a little bit of harassment here it is an oracle causing some of these drones to flee and uh, getting some kills there let's look at the kill count actually he was able to get more kills than uh, fire cake going ahead and evening out the advantage here now we've got fire cake not wanting to uh, run back up that ramp doesn't want to lose these lings looks like this is going to be a heavy investment for later now this is a complete wall off here at the natural he does not want to sacrifice those lings so he's going to be swinging those back around if ever these adepts try to do anything offensive it looks like the lings will be there to punish it and this oracle trying to get back in here and do some more damage nine workers killed now it looks like he got two extra kills on that and now the roaches are coming in to support, give uh, the wings something to pivot around, really. And what is going on here? This is an oracle, another oracle. And he's just buffering up those shields next to the overlord. Looks like we've got a run by going on into the main. Going to go ahead and kill off that probe. Yeah, there we go. And the rest of these probes going to have a little bit of a tough time. The Ling squad definitely doing its damage here in the mineral line. Uh, we are down to less than 40 probes here, but the Adept's going to come in. We'll, should make some pretty fast work of these Lings. They do great amounts of damage to that light armor. Killing off that probe, no more pylons going to be going down there. But looks like that could be the end of the run buys as well. Wow. Tough breaks here for our Protoss, who is actually still 12 workers behind he does want to get this third up but some great harassment really causing that to uh be an issue He's forcing fear to fight back and forth trying to take control of this area but if he controls this area guess what uh the main is still wide open so wherever these adepts are there will be weaknesses and that's really what i like about legacy of the void is that it does create all of these weaknesses by forcing people to expand much much quicker than we've saw in uh, previous expansion packs. Nice little split going on here by Firecake splitting his units up so that the Oracles can only do so much damage. And that Void Ray actually going to be able to build up very easily on these Roaches and that's going to force the Roaches back. No Roach speed just yet but the Lings are in here doing a pretty nice amount of damage. Uh, 21 workers killed, wow. But they got clogged up there at the hallway and now we've got a little bit of a push here by the Protoss going in with his Adept and Oracle combination, but a nice split by Fire Cake going to pull the Protoss in too many different directions. We've got the Ghost in, but choosing not to go ahead and morph on that. He is going to be moving back to a defensive position as he has opened up both an attack on the third as well as into this main. And it looks like the Roaches are choosing to go into the main rather than the third, getting some uh, good hits off on that one Stalker, but not actually focusing it down. Does kill off some of the Adepts. Looks like he's going to leave the Stalkers for some Lings perhaps later on. Got an upgrade for the Hydras coming and a nice Burrow right there on the Roaches. Of course, Oracles do have detection. That could become an issue for Fire Cake, but right now he's just looking to buy some time as the rest of his Roaches come in here to take out this third base just recently completed no time for that investment to pay off and it looks like that will fall yes absolutely that is going to fall and there goes 400 minerals for the protoss and these roaches only just now getting cleaned up that bot exactly the amount of time that he needed it to and then some ah. And the Roach is coming back to deny a little bit more at this third base. Now there is a Void Ray, which the Roaches can do nothing about. But as far as the ground army here, he has definitely got overwhelming odds. And two Hydralisks join the force to make sure that this third base has no chance of completing. Fear is actually in a very rough spot. It is, he is beginning to starve on resources. His opponent is on the Zerg 3 base. The Zerg 3 base is really, really aggressive in this matchup. He can afford to throw units away in a cost-ineffective manner just to stop the Protoss from completing a base. And this map in particular is hard to hold a third base just due to the sheer distance of that third from this second. Now he could have chosen to take this base as well, but with this rock already being torn down, that would have splintered his army even further. The Zerg really taking advantage of the map architecture and some great uh, spells on those pylons, but the pylons are gonna fall very, very quickly. He needed some more production there. 
just not enough power. Just not enough power on his production. GG, well played, comes from fear. Firecake taking a very easy victory, showing the strengths of the Zerg race as a whole, but also why he is one of the most annoying players on Battle.net. Big compliments to Firecake. Hey guys, thanks for joining us. It's been my pleasure to present this to you. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it. As always, I'm honored that you came to this channel, and if you're staying for the credits, then clearly you enjoyed this content. If so, please be a super fan. Go ahead and hit subscribe. Subscribe to us on Twitter, twitter.com slash the only shaft. It's listed right here. And, you know, if you're a super, super, super fan, visit us on Patreon, patreon.com slash the only shaft. I couldn't ask for better fans than you guys. You're amazing. Remember that, and have a great day.